Hello, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to solve um, a time invariant state equation. Solve. Solve. Time invariant. invariant. State equation, state equation. Okay. Uh, first, we need to talk about the homogeneous state equation like this one. And this one is scalar uh, differential equation. Scalar differential equation. Why the scalar? Uh, because this is a scalar number and it is one dimension. This is dx by dt will equal to ax of t. Why it is time invariant? Because a it is not function of time, so it is constant. Okay, so we have this form. Let me write again x dots on ax equal to ax. Okay, this state equation, I mean, this differential equation or state equation, it's first order uh, differential equation like this, and a is constant, so it is time invariant, it's not time varying system, and scalar because x is one dimension and a is just uh, one value, it's not matrix, not vector here. Okay, so the solution. The solution uh, would be assumed to be as a power series or as a polynomial. So x of t would equal to b0 plus b1 t plus b2 t squared plus b3 c cube and go plus bk t squared. Okay, now substitute this into this equation. So we have to differentiate it with respect to time and see b0 when we differentiate will be 0 and this when we differentiate will equal to just b1. Okay, b1. Differentiate this to b2t plus 2b2t plus 3b3t squared, 3b3t squared, and so on. Okay until k bk t k minus 1 you can see this and this is ok k minus 1 is equal to a ok times a times x of t which is all of these so b0 plus b1 t plus b2 t squared and go until bk bk t to the power of k okay so we got this equation now equating the coefficient of equal power of t so we have here, let me write again, p1 plus 2, b2, t plus, go to k, bk, t to the power of k minus 1, equal to a0, p0, plus a b1, t, plus a b2, t squared, plus go until a bk, t to the power of k. Okay, now equating uh, all the same uh, power of t, yeah, like this one, with this, and this, which is multiplied by t, this, and so on. Okay, so we got b1 equal to a b0 b2 equal to so we divide by 2 for this so it will be half a b1 and b1 as you can see you can substitute here half b1 which is a b0 a b0 times will be half a square b0 
and we go for b3 b equal to 1 over 6 a cube b naught and so on until bk and we see it it's 1 over factorial k a to the power of k b0 okay so now how to determine b naught b0 Uh, B0, if you can see here from XFT from this assumption, if you need to find B0, just substitute T equal to 0 in this equation. So we got X0 will be B0. X0 will be B0. So X0, the initial condition will be B0. Okay? Okay. So then the solution X of T will be. Just substitute all these values into your original one here. Okay, because we have b1 as a function of b0, b2 as a function of b0, and so on, as we derived it here. As we find here, 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 and so on. So xt will equal to 1 plus at plus 1 over factorial 2 a squared t squared plus 1 over factorial 3 a cube t cube plus we go 1 over k plus factorial k a to the power of k t to the power of k okay all of this multiplied by x0 and this series it's just only e to the power of a t exponential Okay, so equal to mt times x0. This is one method for solving this scalar differential equation. Thank you for watching. See you next time.